Look, of all the terrible things that are supposed to happen if we don't vote for the voice, like Marsha Langton saying that we know more welcomes to the country, which is, we can only hope about that. One of the worst has to be this claim that our international reputation will be ruined because we'll be branded overseas as a racist country. As if voting against putting race into the constitution somehow makes us racist. That just doesn't make sense. But there was the Prime Minister again yesterday in his press conference with his Kiwi counterpart, claiming that we're the only country in the world that doesn't recognise Indigenous people. Of all the first world nations that were for, former colonies, uh, we are uh, alone in not recognising uh, the uh, first nations peoples. There he is, in his own words, telling us that there's something wrong with Australia. Now, where does the American Constitution, for instance, give Native Americans a special say to the Congress and the executive? Where's the, the Native American voice in America? Where does Britain preserve special rights for the white Anglo-Saxons who settled that island continent or that island centuries ago? In fact, the reverse is true in the UK. I mean, they've taken people from all over the world to become British citizens. They all have the same rights, regardless of their racial origin not special rights for the white Anglo-Saxons. Does Ireland grant a voice to the Celts above and beyond anyone else who's arrived in Ireland and settled there later? Well, of course they don't. And sure, New Zealand has reserved five seats in the parliament for Maori members, but that's a consequence of the Waitangi Treaty signed back in 1840. And here's what's interesting. That's five seats for 17.5% of Maori to what the Maoris represent in the New Zealand population. Yet here we are in Australia, 11 Aboriginal MPs in our parliament out of an Indigenous population of, what, less than 4%. No quota, no treaty required. The French, there's another example, well, they don't distinguish between their Indigenous people, those with white Gaul ancestry, and the many black migrants who have settled in recent years in France out of North Africa. It's somehow... If we don't do what these other countries reject, we're the racists. Now, give me a break. As the Human Rights Commissioner Lorraine Finlay pointed out back in March, permanently entrenching special rights for people based on race would actually breach our international obligations under UN conventions. As currently drafted, she wrote, the voice, quote, inserts race into the Constitution in a way that undermines the foundational principles of equality and non-discrimination. So far from making us racist, voting no would actually avoid the racial discrimination that the UN prohibits. The only way that the world would think of us as racist if we vote no is if people like the PM keep saying that we are. And I just hope every voter rejects this lie from the Prime Minister.